hello guys and welcome back to my channel again or to my if you're seeing this video on facebook or on youtube welcome so this is for our natural hair people our natural hair in fact this is both for natural hair and for pink hair yes so if you have dandruff and um you have a lot of anti-dandruff treatments at home starting from your shampoo to your conditioner to your hair cream treatments um, leaving in and a lot of conditioners and you have used all of them and they are not working for your dandruff okay don't worry this video is for you i'm going to teach you how to apply those things correctly okay so let's get to it first of all starting from your shampoo okay so when you take off a braid or your cornrows or let's say we are waving generally yeah so when you take that off these are some of the things you have to take note of mm? if you want to apply your shampoo i mean your anti-dandruff shampoo to your hair so whether your natural hair or your pimped hair you are going to use the same method of application okay so after shampooing your hair with that anti-dandruff shampoo or conditioner after scrubbing the scalp make sure that you scrub your scalp very well and note if you are on um pinned hair you don't use anti-dandruff shampoo or conditioner after retouching your hair because in fact i made a separate video for retouching because the moment you re retouch your hair your scalp is your pores is open your scalp is very tender and soft so you is a is, no it's chemical okay so you cannot use that shampoo for your hair okay am i communicating at that point so you can use any other mild shampoo and conditioner but if after that relaxed application you can do this up as you can go ahead with this method i'm telling you now okay so after washing your uh, after shampooing the hair i did not say rinse after shampooing your hair my dear you have to go with a shower cap yes that's if you're going to salon but if you're washing it for yourself at home you should have a shower cap okay and make sure you use your own shower cap don't use the one in the salon because um, a lot of um, hairstylists here yeah, do not maintain that proper hygiene. They don't sterilize their things. That's one of the benefits you get when you come to patronize us. Because we are very careful and very, um, uh, will I say, we love our customers and their hair. So at the same time, we try our best to um, not infect or share things with other customers. We make sure we sterilize our stuff. So that aside, make sure. After shampooing your hair, I did not say wash, okay? After thoroughly, after the first one washing, the second shampooing, shampoo, you, like you apply shampoo and scrub on your hair, yeah? You're going to cover your hair with shower cap for 15 minutes. Yeah, you heard me. For 15 minutes. I am not saying you should wash off the shampoo. I hope I'm making sense, yeah? so you're going to cover that shower hair on under shower cap for 15 minutes time it yes all our phones have timer yeah so you can as well time it so that you can be able to keep record of the time that shampoo is going to be on your scalp if you have dandruff on your hair okay so this is the right way to use your anti-dandruff shampoo mm -hmm now when you have covered this your hair after 15 minutes you will rinse off the shampoo yes after rinsing off you will towel your hair dry a little bit am i communicating before applying your anti-dandruff conditioner you know most of us we just use those things without even reading the directions on each product yes but this is just the best way to apply your conditioner or shampoo all those treatments but anti-dandruff is one of the best ways to apply them okay so now after applying this um what's it called what, what am i even talking about 
after applying your shampoo your conditioner your anti-dandruff conditioner you massage this intensely massage it very well inside your scalp and cover for another 15 minutes yes you heard me after that you will wash your hair you will rinse off the conditioner because that conditioner is not is not a leave-in conditioner it is a rinse out conditioner and when you leave a rinse out conditioner on your hair for a longer period or even leave it till the next day two days or more it will over condition the hair let me put it that way and then your hair will break mm -hmm. so you have to cover the, the shower cap on that treatment for how many minutes again 15 minutes then after 15 minutes you do what you rinse out am i communicating all right so after that section if you're pinned hair please you will dry your hair yes <laughs> so after drying your hair what next do you want to do that anti-dandruff hair cream applique that you want to apply dear please listen attentively you are going to cut your hair in sections and apply if you go through my facebook videos you'll see how when i i showed a video or an example of what i mean what i mean by applying hair cream on your scalp so go and look for it on the or i will just drop the link of that video in the comment section okay so you're going to apply that anti-dandruff treatment whether the one you the diy hair treatment you made for yourself whether the one you bought outside it doesn't matter the products you are using when the hair is dried that is when you apply do not apply any hair cream or treatments on your hair when it is wet i hope i made that clear so you use that hair cream apply it on your cut your hair in little sections and apply them on your scalp then after applying this on your scalp you massage your hair Ah, when I say massage, massage your hair. Well, this video might come in two um, part one and two. I might decide to divide. I might decide to put it together. But whichever way, if you saw the first part, please do well to see the second part. Okay. So this is how after massaging your hair, you can now put your regular hair cream on the hair itself on your hair, not on the scalp. Then you can now blow dry your hair and pack then if your natural hair after application do well to blow dry your hair or if you can't make sure that after the application moisturize your hair not your after applying that treatment on your scalp moisturize your hair and then you pack your hair properly okay so if you truly want to treat the dandruff you will continue with this process after seven days after seven days for at least one month and then you go over to even it's not up to a month even if you decide to plate or braid your hair please do well to always apply those treatments on your scalp okay when you are consistent with your your um, application of the treatment that is when you will see an effective result I hope this video was helpful and if this is the kind of content you like to see or you are natural paint hair and you want your hair to improve, do well to follow Comis Beauty Concepts. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on YouTube. And then you want to book a section with us, like you want to discuss with us the problem you are challenges you're having with your hair you want us to put you through uh, or guide you on how to apply or do a particular thing with your hair it is very affordable we are not expensive just send us a dm okay click on the link on the bio or send me a dm you are going to well i'm going to be the one to attend to you yes and if you stay anywhere around lagos or ikorodu here do well to patronize us okay visit us and you'll be happy uh, the link to our location is still on the facebook um bio below so 